Good afternoon, Seattle. I'm listening. Who can forget the sign-on of legendary radio psychiatrist Fraser Crane? Hilariously and expertly played by Kelsey Grammer, the sitcom Frasier was a staple of American television. The series won dozens of awards and ran for over a decade. Frasier was so popular, Kelsey Grammer became one of the highest paid TV actors of all time. But after his time on Frasier, Grammer has seemed scarce. Why has it been so long since we've seen the comedic genius of Kelsey Grammer? Well, just because he hasn't been front and center on TV doesn't mean he's disappeared. He's actually stayed very busy. Let's take a look at what Kelsey Grammer has been working on. And Frasier fans will want to keep watching until the end to hear some good news about their favorite radio shrink. Frasier was a tentpole of television. The series Frasier follows Dr. Frasier Crane, a cultured and witty psychiatrist who moves from Boston back to his hometown of Seattle. Here, he starts a successful radio program. Though his posh and aristocratic lifestyle meld with his equally pretentious brother Niles, Frazier sometimes finds himself butting heads with his blue-collar father and Philistine co-workers. The show was equal parts sophisticated and down-to-earth. Though this quirky and quick-witted sitcom was one of a kind at the time, it was a huge hit. However, the concept was not a total shot in the dark for NBC. The character of Frasier had already tested extremely well as a series regular on Cheers, and Cheers was a wildly popular sitcom. After its 11-season run, NBC was compelled to keep the magic alive with the spinoff Frasier. Because of Kelsey's stint on both shows, Frasier is the second longest-running character in TV history at an amazing 20 years. At the height of the show's popularity, Grammer was being paid $1.6 million per episode. That's still among the top TV salaries of all time. By the end of its run in 2004, Frasier had run for 11 seasons, a total of 264 episodes, and accrued 37 Emmy Awards. Kelsey Grammer was nominated for Best Comedy Actor every year and won four times. So where has he been since the show ended? Broadway was calling. Kelsey Grammer has followed a career path similar to many others with his educational background. After studying at Juilliard, Grammer started out working on stage productions. His stage career started in the late 70s at the Old Globe Theater in San Diego. In 1984, he made his debut on Broadway in a production of Macbeth. A few years later, he was cast in Cheers and began his successful career in TV. After 20 years on screen, it seemed Grammer's Juilliard roots were calling. After Frasier, he got back into stage work. He's had no lack of success either. He starred in the original Broadway production of Finding Neverland. In 2010, he was nominated for a Tony Award for his work as George in La Cage Folle. In 2016, he finally took home a Tony Award for his role as a producer on The Color Purple. A number of movie and TV roles. Although he's not dishing out the witticisms as Dr. Fraser Crane at the moment, we still see Kelsey Grammer make appearances on TV and film. He's dabbled in sitcoms such as Partners and Hank, but they didn't see much success. Both lasted less than one season. However, his other work has shown a move away from comedy. Some of his post Frasier roles show him in a different light. In 2014, he played the villain in Transformers Age of Extinction. He returned to TV as the anti-hero Tom Kane in the Star series Boss. This was quite a turn for Grammer in a dramatic series playing a corrupt mayor battling dementia. He was even tapped to play a cameo in Sylvester Stallone's Expendables franchise. If you're familiar with the series, you know the cast is comprised of some of the most iconic actors of the 80s and 90s. It must be quite validating for Grammer to earn a spot alongside Schwarzenegger, Statham, and Stallone. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. He joined the X-Men. It appears Grammer also wanted to try out the action genre. In 2006, he joined the comic book universe with X-Men The Last Stand, though he wasn't easy to spot in his role. Grammer played Dr. Hank McCoy, also known as Beast. Beast is covered with blue fur, has pointed ears, and fangs. Grammer had to sit in the makeup chair for three hours while the team outfitted him with a wig, muscle suit, eye paint, and prosthetics. He must have enjoyed the role as he returned for an uncredited cameo in X-Men Days of Future Past. A sought-after voice actor. Kelsey Grammer has a unique, sonorous voice. 
The same voice he showed off as a radio personality on Frasier is still sought after in the voice acting community. He has an equally impressive animated voice acting career as he does in live action. He's lent his voice to such films as Anastasia, Toy Story 2, and Storks. Visionary director Guillermo del Toro is such a fan of Grammer's voice work, he wrote a part specifically for him in his animated Netflix series Troll Hunters. But Grammer's best voice acting is one for America's longest running series. He's been trying to kill Bart Simpson. Grammer's most iconic voice work is the nefarious Sideshow Bob on The Simpsons. The sociopathic and sophisticated clown with the wild red hair has been plotting against the Simpson family for decades. It seems to be a fun character for Grammer to voice as he clearly brings the pizzazz and intellect of Fraser Crane to the part. He might even be more beloved for playing Sideshow Bob than Fraser. Sideshow Bob's first appearance was on season 3 of The Simpsons in 1990. Grammer was suggested for the part by Simpsons writer Sam Simon. Simon had also worked as a writer for Frasier and knew Grammer would be perfect. Grammer has stuck with the role ever since. More than 30 years later, as The Simpsons prepares for its 33rd season, Kelsey Grammer's sideshow Bob still wages war on Bart Simpson. He took home another Emmy Award for outstanding voiceover for that role. Moving into producing. Kelsey Grammer isn't just a talent in front of the camera, he also has a knack for producing. His first executive producer credit came on Frasier. Not only has he produced series for himself, like Boss or Partners, he was also an EP on the wildly popular series Girlfriends and The Game. And his next project has just been revealed. A Frasier reboot is happening. Dr. Frasier Crane is coming back to television. More than 17 years since the series ended, Kelsey Grammer is going to reprise his famous role. The news was recently released from Viacom CBS. It will be a headlining title in the company's new Paramount Plus streaming service. While the service confirmed Grammer will be back and better than ever in the lead role, no word has been released about the supporting cast. Yet fans of the show know that part of what made Frasier such a terrific comedy was in part the supporting cast. We'll wait in anticipation to hear if David Hyde Pierce, who played Niles Crane, or Jane Leaves, playing Daphne Moon, will return to the reboot. It's not clear if the new Frasier will be a limited series run, or if it's designed to launch new stories for the characters. What is clear, the upcoming series will build on the legacy of one of the most popular TV series of all time. Kelsey Grammer is fixing to be front and center in the comedy world once again. So what do you think? Is Grammer one of the best sitcom actors of all time? Is the Frasier reboot a good idea? Let us know in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.